Hey guys, welcome back to War Room, and we've been getting a lot of questions about games and how to play them, uh, specifically game types and what the rules are for said game types, so we're going to get into that in a different video for the next couple of, uh, couple of weeks, or next couple of episodes, I should say. So today what I want to do is go over the general burn rules that we have, because all of those games are going to be played in addition to these rules. So. Um, Let's go over them really quick. Some of the stuff we've covered in videos, some of it we haven't because it's very specific to our games. Um, but let's go over it anyway. Uh, first off, our safety rules. Everyone must be 18 or over. I know that a lot of people don't play that way. That's just something we do. There are every other game that is played around us in our area, and there are quite a few um, are not 18 and over. So I think we are the only 18 and over game. I think Nobicon might be doing, starting up doing two games one where it is, one where it isn't, but that's neither here nor there. So we are 18 and over, deal with it. That's the way it is. Sorry, that's the way we play. There's other stuff around. Uh, no drugs or alcohol, obviously. Uh, come come to the game sober. Uh, events are tended to your own risk, blah, blah, blah. That's kind of all the, you know, if you hurt yourself, we're not responsible stuff. Eye protection, mandatory, obviously. Uh, we've talked about that. Uh, there will be no intentional physical contact of players, blasters, blah, 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 blah. Uh, other equipment may not be thrown if it's burn equipment. That's a, that, again, a lot of this is very obvious. Don't drop our timers. They were expensive. You know, don't chuck our flags. Don't intentionally tackle players is basically what that's saying. We know that, you know, you might come around a corner and hit somebody. It happens, you know, uh, but you're not going to, you know, just smack somebody or do something stupid this this isn't hockey. We're not here to uh, to, to check one another. So um, I'm going to jump to equipment. We'll do game rules last because that's sort of the, the bulk of this. Uh, equipment, blasters cannot be painted to look real. That's uh, fairly common around uh, here in most of the U.S. anyway, um, and I know in a lot of places. Uh, they'll be assessed by a case, on a case-by-case -case basis. That's just, you know, either we say yay or nay, but usually we're pretty lax about things. Nobody's really brought something that looks full-on real. Um, uh, modded blasters are totally allowed. We don't have an FPS limit. Um, if you do think that you're really high, uh, let us know, and usually basically we'll use ourselves as guinea pigs and get shot and tell you if it's cool or not. But we haven't had any problems. Nothing has shown up that we haven't allowed that I can think of. Um, stock ammo only. Uh, that's another one of the equipment rules. And stock is being used very loosely here. It is anything you can basically get off of a shelf. And, uh, you know, FVJs, Koosh, uh, a lot of the knockoff darts and things like that are allowed. Basically, we want full-length darts with, you know, semi-reasonable heads. We don't basically want uh, dart smiths making their own darts. I know there's a place for that. It's just not our games. Also, it helps us really because we do dart rentals, so everybody is using basically the same size dart. There's like a few that are going to be different with like maybe some big suction or um, uh, tagger heads that people can't use in their blasters, but for the most part, everything we have in there is pretty easily accessible, and you can pretty quickly tell if you can or can't use something, um, you know. But again, you, you could bring something that's totally from a different line and might not fit. We don't care. It's really for safety, and we just don't want you know, washers and felt and all of these different things. And it really can up the FPS and accuracy. And it's just the way that our games are balanced is we're just using stock length ammo for the most part and anything you can buy off of the shelf. So, all right, enough about ammo. Uh, shields and melee weapons are not allowed on game types unless specified otherwise. That's both in equipment and game rules. Um, sorry, I'm also reading it off of my, our list here. Um, we just, we just don't allow them right now. Uh, I feel that they can be used to manipulate and potentially break the game, and there's a lot of very specific rules that we'd have to have for it. And I know it's very easy to be like, well, this isn't done in the spirit of the game, or this and that, but right now we just don't allow them. We don't have any game types that allow them at the moment. Not saying that that wouldn't change in the future. Right now, that's just how we run things. Um, let's see. You're not allowed to use any else's equipment unless they authorize you to do so. I mean, that seems pretty obvious but it's there. Again, a lot of stuff is there just to kind of cover us. Um, the dart rentals, we have, we have a whole other episode about that, but dart rentals are something that we offer. So let's get down to the game rules. Sorry that this has already taken so long. Uh, a hit is whenever a dart contacts your person. Uh, so blaster hits count. Um, 
any of your clothing counts if you're wearing like a long trench coat sorry that's just the rules that we have I like to keep rules really fast so they can be kind of quick and dirty rather so that like you know yay or nay there's I, I try to eliminate as much gray area as possible and some people don't like it like that but it's a lot easier for us to uh, allow players to police themselves and have to be like oh this part of the blaster it counts but this part doesn't or like if it's on you in a on like a sling it does count as a hit but not when you're holding it like there's a lot of stuff about that that I've seen in other games that I've been to before and it's just way easier not to because I've literally seen people try to break the game by being like oh well I'm wearing I have a lot of blasters on me and that hit a blaster not me and I just I'm like nope you know what it's easier it's cool honestly it just works it works better for us um, so blaster hits count when you're hit you know raise your blaster above your head and go back to respawn uh, basically denote that you're out of play by raising your hands raising your blaster or anything like that um, one of the big ones that we we made a change to um, we used to have a dead men tell no tales rule that we to totally took out because it's too hard to police um, but we did replace it with the you may only pick up ammo when you are in play and that means when you are alive so to speak right you haven't been tagged you're not going back to respawn it eliminates people kind of just going into maybe enemy territory or contested area of the field and just picking up ammo and being like well i'm basically invincible right now because i'm already tagged out i'm just going to spend the next couple of minutes picking up ammo we saw that happening in quite a few games and didn't like it so we've introduced this rule we implemented it geez three four years ago um and it's been great it's one of honestly my favorite rules that we've added um it, it's just helped a ton so moving on ricochets don't count unless you are using a vortex vortex i just feel like they were made to sort of ricochet and do that and by ricochet i mean off of a wall uh off of a person so if it bounces off a wall hits me i'm out if it bounces off of bfu and then hits me we're both out right um pretty much only counts for vortex we did have um if you brought these big foam shields that sort of had special rules like that where they could be they, they were captain america shields uh not shields they were just like giant frisbees but they were foam painted to look like a captain america shield anyway we allowed those to be bounced as well but they didn't really fly very far anyway so wasn't a big deal but um uh so you know there may be special rules specifically for that sort of stuff um all darts and equipment brought on the field must be carried on with you. Um, basically, uh, your respawn point is not your armory. We don't want people bringing like 80 blasters and all of their ammo and mags and just leave it there and then come back and keep swapping out things. Um, it's really like, you know, think of a video game. You start out with sort of a loadout and, you know, you, you, you go and play. I mean, that's not true for all video games, but you get what I'm trying to kind of say here. Like, start with the stuff that you're going to be using. Yeah, if you drop a mag on field, whatever, it's cool. But we don't want you to just have, oh, look at I brought a tub of darts and a tub of mags to my respawn point. Um, it ruins a lot of the way that we play games. That's not to say that isn't a good <clears throat> tactic for necessarily your games, but it just depends on how you how you want to play them. And a lot of the way that we play is sometimes you're gonna have limited ammo or sometimes, you know, it's gonna be a little bit of a war of attrition. So um, that's just there because we've, we've seen it happen in the past and we've had some issues back and forth with it. <clears throat> Other than that, that's just the general, like your blaster breaks, you can go change it. Then please go back to your respawn area and count back in, right? Basically you're counting yourself out because your blaster broke or something, you need to change something you can go swap that out at the respawn or at the uh, we have benches basically where everyone sets up <clears throat> excuse me I'm getting over a cold still and uh, from there instead of coming immediately back into the game you do have to go back to your respawn area count out whatever your respawn time is and go and respawn times are gonna vary depending on games and attendance right if we have a ton of people respawn timers are usually higher up but just depends again on the game type as well so <clears throat> no going inside of buildings, hopping fences, climbing on roofs, trees, stuff like that. Basically, it's safety, and also we play at a, a public school slash park, so we want to be able to stay there, and we don't want people breaking anything. Um, moderators reserve the right 
uh, to ban any player for misconduct. I just think that's kind of something everybody should have in their rules. Uh, we've never had to use it, but you know, you always want to make sure people know, like, hey, there, there, there are rules and they're made to be followed. Uh, no transportation other than by foot may be used. This is kind of an interesting one. It's not to deter anyone who, you know, may be using wheelchair or something like that at all. Feel free to come to the game if you read that and that's your reason for not coming. I apologize. There's just not a super better way I could think of uh, for wording that. But basically it's there for people. We didn't want people bringing, like, bikes uh, and, like, you know, using rapid pistols and riding around shooting people or maybe um, wearing... Uh, rollerblades or, you know, skate, it basically any other mode of transportation, right? We don't want people bringing some sort of weird vehicles and stuff all like that. It's specifically you and a blaster, right? Or blasters, depending on how you play. And it was a, A, a safety thing, and B, just like, we didn't want our games to just be like that. I don't know. Um, mostly, definitely safety uh, we can't guarantee the way that the field's going to go, and also we didn't want bikes or other stuff running over darts because we do do dart rentals, and that's just going to tear through, uh, you know, darts and crush them even more so than they already get stomped on by people. So uh, it's just something we threw in there because people had already expressed an interest in doing it. Like I said, a lot of these are kind of the uh, no no toaster in the dryer rules. They were written because people have tried to do things that maybe uh, resulted in us creating some of these rules. Um, and our number 12 rule um, kind of goes with rule zero, which is something we always mention at games. Rule zero, you know, uh, don't be a dink, just, you know, be a nice guy. Don't be, you know, stupid and, and, and try to do things, try to break the game, try to, you know, play in the spirit of the game, kind of all that stuff. Uh, number 12 is basically if you experience a problem with another player, let a moderator know don't handle it on your own, right? Um, because we'll go talk to that person and tell them, hey, people have been, you know, we don't want you to have this sort of clash. Um, and it's easier for us to go and say, tell them, hey, you know, people have said that you've been doing this or doing that, that maybe breaking a rule. Maybe they didn't know. Maybe they're doing it on accident. You know, hopefully it'll get them to start checking themselves. Obviously, it depends on what they're doing. But, um, you know, we, we, we'll handle things privately. We don't want to make a big fuss about things, especially when it's like, this person isn't calling their hits a lot. Like, a lot of people just get really excited and don't feel things. You know, if, if we talk to them, they'll a lot of times we'll just be like, oh, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll totally try to pay more attention. And uh, one of the things that we tell people to do is if you tag somebody, try to tell them where you tag them at if you can. Don't just say, hey, I hit you. Be like, I got you right in the leg. Then they're like, oh, okay, that's pretty specific. You must have seen it, you know, actually hit me. And that's the other thing. Don't call a tag if you didn't see a tag. Don't just assume that because you're very close that you've hit someone um, when you didn't actually see it. And likewise, if you have been tagged, call yourself out, man. This is a game of honor. Um, I really hate, and I've literally seen this happen at a game, not one of ours, but I've seen it happen, where I've seen someone get tagged, and they've, I've, I've, I've mentioned them, oh, he, you know, they just got you. I was on that person's team, and they were like, but they didn't call it. That, it doesn't matter, uh, at least not in our games. I, I don't think it should matter anywhere. If you felt yourself get tagged, just go back to respawn. You know, most games like ours have a respawn timer. We, we don't have any real game types where you're sitting out the rest of the day because you got tagged once. Um, most games I, I've played aren't like that. So, you know, take the 30 second respawn or whatever it is. Um, just because you didn't get tagged doesn't mean, or just because you didn't get called out on a tag doesn't mean you shouldn't consider yourself tagged. There's been many a time when I've seen people, um, when I've tagged people rather, that I didn't even know I tagged them. They've called themselves out and it's been awesome. Anyway, now I'm starting to ramble, but um, that's it for our general rules. Um, if there's anything I didn't cover, I know that a lot of stuff that I do in the walkthrough is just A, from memory, and B, um, it has to do with our actual field. So uh, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. If there's rules that I forgot, um, or maybe we don't have that you think that we should, let us know. Um, if you have, like I said, any further questions, definitely. And we will, from here on, start going to much shorter videos that just tell you how a game is played, sort of what our rules are for it and uh, and how to how we set it up. So 
that's it guys sorry this was a bit long-winded but those videos are going to refer back to this one for all the general rules for anyone who might have missed this and is coming in late so uh, again apologies thanks for sticking through it and uh, thanks for you know keeping keeping the questions coming and asking us about game types that we have and stuff like that so as always stay safe have fun and happy tagging